Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here, and how are you guys today? It is Saturday, yes. So, Jaden doesn't sleep anymore. And to get into a sleep study is going to take forever. <laughs> so, whatever. At least it's all set up and ready to go to start with. And then I think she said she wasn't sure. I, I don't know. It seems like everybody doesn't know how to do their job anymore, or they're, they're taking too many, not enough doctors, too many patients. I don't fucking know. But it's getting annoying. Because everybody decided they didn't want to see doctors during COVID. And now everybody wants to see doctors. Because now they're sick. Because they're stupid. Because they should have seen a doctor the whole fucking time. time. And my stupid window. That's what I'm waiting for. So, here's the thing. Okay, guys. If I'm going to date somebody, they have to be positive. They have to think positively. Fucking Chris is so negative every fucking day. It's ridiculous. Like, oh my God, stop living around me. If you're going to be so fucking like, miserable all the freaking time. Like, even Dennis wasn't this miserable. Honestly, even when he was sick, he wasn't even this miserable. <laughs> so, I'm definitely looking for someone who can fulfill all my needs, including to be positive. I need somebody who's not going to be somebody who's going to sit on the couch all the time. He's going to want to go out. He's not going to give me a hard time about my fucking driving. He's giving me a hard time about my driving. <laughs> I'm not even go out with you. Well, then don't fucking go out with me. I never said you could, so stay home. <laughs> but the thing is, is I, I have a feeling that it's going to be a, a more of a difficult transition for me. I think for because all my friends get jealous if I spend any time with anybody else. So I've been like hiding uh, the dating apps from him because I don't want him to get jealous because he was jealous when I was talking to Angel. Angel gets jealous when I talk to him. So, I, I mean, the two of them get jealous of each other, but they still are okay with each other. I don't understand. So, the thing is, is I'm trying to do this, you know, so it's hard to, like, um, you know, I gotta be in the bathroom and I'm, like, taking a shit or something and I'm texting somebody, you know what I mean? Or I have to go into my bed and do this in the middle of the night or... Uh, it's becoming ridiculous because this is my fucking house and I shouldn't have to hide anything. But at the same token, I don't want to fucking hear it from anybody. So, it's kind of how I'm feeling. <laughs> I don't give a shit about how you felt. Don't want to do it. So, the thing is, is Chris, I have a feeling that he's going to have a difficult time transitioning from, you know, being, a, you know, with me. I mean, I hope he doesn't think he's going to stay with me forever. I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't care. As long as I'm with somebody who's positive. Like, I don't even care he's a fucking roommate. You could be a roommate for the rest of my life. I don't give a fuck. Like, shit. It's somebody easy enough for me to, um... That way, when I need a worker, he's already there. Now, that part, I don't mind. You know, and my partner is going to have to understand stuff like that. Like, if I want my friend to live with us, then I want my friend to live with us. And it's simple as that, so... So, but... I definitely need a relationship. And it's not with him. It's not with most people. So, oh my god, I freaking... So, anyways, I'm off. It is 9.23 in the morning. Yes. Well, Jaden is having such a hard time sleep sleeping that I decided to... Um, that I decided to... Um, oh, damn it. Hey, that's a little bit better. Um, I decided to, um, what the fuck am I even talking about? <laughs> um, oh, I decided to go, so, okay, so basically what's happening is, is I'm having a hard time sleeping, so when I wake up after sleeping a couple hours, last night, I said, fuck it, I'm working. So, what I did was, like, I had a bunch of, um, um, fabric that needed to be cut so I could make heaty friends and I really want to sell them so guys they're $20 a piece I make them by hand I sew them by hand and they keep you nice and warm and I'm making a bunch for uh, uh, Valentine's Day so um, I will show you what they look like when they're being made and um, 
I'm trying to find ways to, um, I'm trying to find ways to, to sell them. So I'm trying, I'm going to advertise them on, on Facebook, on both my Facebooks, um, advertise them everywhere. Um, I'll tell my, 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 my clients. I mean, there's definitely ways that I could be able to sell these again now. And then I need to find maybe, a, um, uh, a, a, you know, because I wasn't sure if I should do work work on greeting cards or if I should just work on these Heedy friends. I really feel that these Heedy friends would be my calling right now, only because of the time of the year. And then work on the greeting cards, like not worry about um, the greeting cards right now. You want to work on things that people are actually going to buy. And right now, greeting cards are, you know, I mean, everybody needs a greeting card. I hear that. And I'd be selling my greeting cards for less than what you'd buy a Hallmark card for. But at the same token, I just don't know because I'm running out of time, you know. And I'm still trying to work on my my, my stuff for my 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 party. So it's like, what do I do? Do I um? Oh my God! I want to see up my window. Um. So my thing is, is where, where do I where do you know what I mean? See, I'm just so I don't know. I mean, if I can get a couple made, like 10 maybe made, or 20 made, and then maybe I'd be alright with that, but, I don't know, I just haven't decided yet, I mean, it's not that hard to make a greeting card, but at the same token, I need my, my, um, I want my sticker on there, or get a stamp, you know, have a stamp made for it, so I can stamp it, I might do a stamp. And then that way you could just put it on the back of the car. It makes it look really nice. It says Wild Imaginations. Handmade by Jaden Gray. You know? So. Yeah, I think I might look into that. So actually today. I don't know if you're wondering. You're probably like. Where are you going? So. I am going over to Harbor Freight first. Okay? Because I'm fucking sick. And tired. Of my cleaning stuff. Not. Being. Organized. So. It's time. To once and for all. Get a bag, even if it's temporary, and get it done. And then I'm going over to, um, come on, dude, get the fuck out of my way. All right, I know it's fucking Saturday, and I know you guys can't handle fucking driving, but fucking the gas pedal's on the right. Just fucking press it. It's not that fucking difficult. Anyways, so, and then after that, so I'm going over to Harbor Freight, right the second, and then I'm going to come back, shoot up, and uh, hit BJ's, and then after BJ's, um, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, um, if BJ's, what I might do is I might go to BJ's, and then I'm gonna go to Star Market because Chris wanted um, he wanted some lettuce, and then he wanted some, you know. I'm not going into fucking stop and shop for fucking we had lettuce and fucking uh, um, what you call it. Um, he wanted sandwich meat. I'm like, whatever. I'm like, you didn't even eat the fucking sandwich meat we bought last time. It's like, oh, it, it was in a container. And look, you fucking retards. Men are stupid. They, they don't even look. Nobody wants to look. Look around. This is why I go through my shit all the time. I gotta go through my refrigerator, throw a bunch of shit out. He's gonna get mad. I don't give a fuck. You know, like, I will throw things out that. It's definitely, like, the expression date is gone, you know, whatever. Or I'm not going to eat it. I know I'm not going to eat it, you know, stuff like that. So, I bought some stuff online now, yesterday. I didn't tell Chris, because I don't want to hear it. <laughs> He's like, I'm not going to have it. Dude, I got 200 bucks. I need to shut the fuck up. So, there's a few things I'm not buying right now. I think I'll wait until either I, get a jo I have a job or I, um... Or I have, um, or I wait until next month. That's not that big of a deal. Um, and if you guys know any dating apps, can you guys, like, shoot down there, like, what dating apps you guys use? Because right now, I mean, I have, I'm not even on Tinder. <laughs> I think Tinder only costs money. I'm not sure. So you guys have to help me out here. And then, um, I'm on Hinge. That one, I seem to be able to find a few people. 
And then this other one, Bamboo, whatever it's called. I, I mean, geez, are there any white people? I mean, no offense. I'm not, I'm not being prejudiced, but there's no white people. No. It's just like, I mean, I'm like, is that who's in my area? Is like, I'm just around a bunch of, you know, I'm not, I'm not prejudiced, but I'm not looking for a Mexican. I'm not looking for a black person. I'm looking for a white person. I'm sorry, but I do not find anybody else attractive right now. I have found some people attractive. Don't get me wrong. Um, there is a girl who I am speaking with who, you know, is not white. And she was kind of cute. Um, but then again, like I said, I just, I'm not, I don't know what I'm looking for yet, but I need variety. And this thing was not giving me any variety, okay? It was just giving me black people. So I'm black and Hispanic and, you know, my name's Jose. And I'm like, I'm not having sex with a man named Jose. See, thank you very much. Have a good day. <laughs> so, yeah. So going over to Harbor Freight, we're going to pick up these a bag. So I can have one bag for right cleaning jobs. Wine bag. Something. Like, I know I'm still gonna probably need my bucket, but I just want one thing that I could put everything and organize everything together. So, we're gonna go over there again and have a look and see what's happening. So. Alright, guys, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, guys, so I just came to Harbor Freight. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to like the bag, if it's going to work for me. But you know what? The bag's fucking 40 bucks. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. So if it don't work for this, maybe I could use it for something else. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? It's really hard to find a, a bag that's on wheels for $40 that's a tool bag. You know what I'm saying? So right now I'm just going to use this. Hopefully, you know, I can get all my, my stuff, you know, in this one bag. So basically what's happening is that my... It's my um, towels, I think, that's kind of uh, overwhelming me. And basically, I need to just start putting all my towels in my closet and only take the ones, take enough that I need with me at the time for that particular job. So basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to have five different things turning into just one thing. Because <laughs> I have like two different hand things and I got this, that, and the other thing. And I'm like, I don't want this shit anymore. So I'm just trying to downsize a little bit. So we'll see what happens. I really want to go to Savers, but I'm not because I need to be a good boy and not go there. So right now I'm going over to BJ's. Jaden needs to get some, um, <laughs> must be a really bad, bad fire. One, two, and three. Wow. Anyways, so I'm going to BJ's and I have to get trash bags. I couldn't find my, um, my, my, um, coupon book, so maybe they have one there, <laughs> I don't know, but anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in a little bit, alright, guys, so, I'm now at BJ's, let's go buy some food, <laughs> I don't really even need food, we're just getting the basics, so, I'll see you in a little bit, hey, guys, so, uh, I'm finally freaking done, I'm fucking sweating my ass off, holy fuck, shopping really makes you have a sweat, and then when you're Fucking trying to fight with everybody else around you. Chris is like, oh, you going to have shop with the... And knock all the old people down? I'm like, yeah, kick their ass. <laughs> kick their ass, dude. <laughs> I'll knock them down. Get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> Roll you over my shopping cart. <laughs> I'll fucking kick your ass. <laughs> all right, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going over to... Um... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and go to Stop and Shop, get a couple of the things that we need to get that I wasn't able to get here, and um, after that, then I'm going to be going over to the dollar store, see what I can find there. So I'm trying to be really careful of what I'm buying in which places, because I just spent over two freaking hundred dollars on my food stamps, jerk. And then he bitches for the fucking rest of the month about his food stamps. I don't, you don't see me bitching around my food stamps, dude. So why bitch? And you're eating my fucking food. So why are you bitching about mine? So, you know, I mean, fair is fair, people. I mean, don't bitch about your food stamps when I just fucking fed you $345 of my food stamps. So you could suck my dick, but no. I had to go without because he wanted to be a prick the other day. I'm like, you don't need fucking... Come on, dude. Get the fuck out of my way, asshole. All right, enough is enough, dude. 
Come on, I know I'm in a parking lot, but come on, people. Fucking drive. Here we go. So, yeah. That's the plan. It's Saturday, guys. You gotta be more aggressive on a Saturday. No, actually, what I did there was an, I was being an asshole. Because you actually were sure to stop. Well, I, technically, that was a, a yield. But what I did was just I was being a dick. Because I've had enough. I'm done. I'm playing with my with fucking people. They don't know how to fucking drive. So, anyways, uh, like I said, uh, yeah, I think that's kind of shitty that I had to go without. But he doesn't ever have to go without. I mean, you're living at my roof. Fucking asshole. So, that's what I mean. So, no, I wasn't allowed to have my Jimmy's. And last night, I had to eat my I, eat ice cream without Jimmy's. And I was like, I don't have my Jimmy's. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> I don't have my Jimmy's. Oh, I really could use some Jimmy's on, these, on this ice cream right now. <laughs> so, you want to be a dick? I'll be a dick right back. <laughs> no, you know, the thing is, Jaden... Jaden's gone without for so long. It doesn't, I don't give a fuck. You know, and Jimmy's, Angel's probably like, I oh, don't need the Jimmy's anyways. <laughs> so. But yeah, all right, I'm heading over over here. I gotta, when I go home, then I gotta clean out the refrigerator, organize everything. You know how I am. Then I'm gonna organize the, ca the, the cabinets again. I wanna go through everything that's in there. Utilize all the space. What is in there? You know, I have baskets I could be utilizing, you know, so let's start organizing. Use stuff that's just a fucking container that doesn't have anything in it. To do something with it. I don't want to be here. Why don't I want to be here? I don't want to be here. Jimmy's. I can't forget anything either. And the stuff here I don't have written down. And then Chris was fucking like, oh, I need this, that, and the other thing. I'm like, what? You don't even usually you usually want that, okay? And the lettuce is so fucking expensive, I'm not buying it. So if he wants fucking lettuce, he can use it out of his food fucking stamps. Because if it's fucking four fucking dollars, I ain't using my food stamps for that. I'm telling you, honestly, I'm, I'm going to get to the point where when I buy it, BJ's fine. But when I'm out and about and I'm buying for me and Chris and I have both of our food stamps cards on us, fuck that. I'm using his food stamps on his shit. I should get smarter like that, right? <laughs> so, that's what I'm going to do. It's just hard sometimes. Because, like, right now, we're going in here. I'm going in here, and I'm buying. I mean, why do two transactions when you can do one? You know what I'm saying? So, But, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start, you know, like, just now, I just went there, and I just spent, you know, X amount of dollars on my... Where am I going? What do I need? I need to go over there. Why am I over here? Jaden doesn't know what he wants to do. If I park over here, I'm never, I'm never gonna be able to find my car. Cause Jane is stupid like that. Ooh, I think I no. Here, I'll park right here. That way I can go out of either. <gasps> nope, no. Nope. I found better parking. Hold on. I just can't get you off the phone yet until I fucking park. Hold on. I go around here like this. In between. <laughs> This one right here. Here we go. <laughs> now I'm close to both doors. I can walk in that door and walk out that door. And I'm perfect. So this actually, this spot right here is perfect. Never even thought about that before. So. Alright guys, let's go shopping. Mm. Alright All right guys, so it is 11.22. And look. Look at the store. Look behind me. Look at how many people want to go shopping. Isn't that crazy? Oh my god. And then look at all this stuff I got in this. So it's pretty crazy. But alright. I have to go clean when I get home. Hey guys, so now that that's done, I'm going home, okay? I talked to Chris. I said, Chris, can I just buy some, you know, stuff here so I don't have to go anywhere else? So now I'm gonna go right home. 
But before I'm gonna bring any of the food in, I'm actually gonna be cleaning out the refrigerator. So I will meet you there, okay? I will actually show you how I do that. And the thing is, Chris might freak out a little bit, but I'm gonna tell him I'm doing a YouTube video. Let me do my thing. Just stay on the couch and leave me alone. All right, I'm gonna pack up. I'm gonna do all the stuff, so no worries. You just sit there and relax, and I'll tell you where everything is at the end. All right, all right, guys. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys. So I am finally back home now. Okay, it took me two seconds. Okay, <laughs> it really wasn't that long. Now the lady in front of me, she's like so bent out of shape, but in that way, uh, mask on. I'm like, dude, it's been two years, but whatever. She's like, can you back off? I'm like, what? And jeez. So basically right now what I do before you bring in new food is you always empty out the refrigerator. See what works. See what doesn't work. And that's not going away. I'm just organizing it. Anything open, go away. This stuff I've been discussing with Chris and I. Um, some things will get rearranged. Gives you an idea of what you have in the house, what you need to get rid of. See, you never know. This, you check the dates. Don't forget to check dates, guys. Nobody ever checks, checks dates. Now, these, I think, are still pretty good. I will stick that over there. But those don't get eaten in the next, uh, I would say, a couple weeks. You're going to trash And then a lot of it also too is rearrange, rearrange. Yeah, to, you have to rearrange stuff as well for new foods that come in. If you find drinks that are open, drink it. <laughs> Next year for you. A lot of times you got to rearrange these. So sometimes I have more today. I mean, I have to actually disconnect one of those or take them out up there because. We have 60 eggs that are going here today. So not 36, but we're having 60 because it was a cheaper buy. Then you're really just going through what you have. This is actually still good because we built, I think we made, when did we have tacos, Chris? Just the other day, right? So there's still tacos in there. And then this is trash. <laughs> no, I have to keep that. This. I don't know if that's any. I have to talk to Chris about some of this stuff. All right, so now we're basically just see what's in your. Now, I've had these for a while. I don't know. They still are good, and they were really expensive. So Jaden is going to make himself fucking drink them so they can get the hell out of here. And now what I do is I will open these up. I don't like these in there with. The plastic. Now I make three sections and this is getting us ready. I forget something. Always make sure you clean the refrigerator first before putting new product in. Get rid of the old, put the new in. Make it look nice. New year, new season, and you start new. Now this one's brand new. Get all down here. Make it all nice. Okay. Refrigerator is now cleaned. And now we put the water. So because we're going to put water, and now I bought some other drinks that we're going to be stacking in here. So... Let me get this started for you, and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. See hey, guys. Let me tell you something. I don't even know what to do right now because, oh, I, I was like, I don't have my phone, but I do. Maybe. Chris is fucking being a dick. Like, I'm so sick of negative energy. You know, you want to quit smoking, then quit smoking. Don't fucking make me miserable on top of it. So I'm like, fuck, I'm out of here. Like, fuck. You know, he's all miserable because he's hungry. You're going to fucking eat mac and cheese? Like, what the fuck, dude? I just worked, busted my balls, worked my ass off. I'm still trying to make YouTube videos, you know, with a person in my, my house, <laughs> my fucking house. 
and being told what I can and cannot do, like, trust me, I just don't know how long this is going to last for. Especially with his fucking negative energy. If he had a kid, I'm not going to tell him, like, dude, I understand, like, like whatever. I'm like, I'm seriously ready to buy him a pack of cigarettes because that's how fucking miserable he is. And he's making me miserable. I'm like, I'm ready to fucking go have a cigarette. <laughs> Fuck. I'm like, all I did was say, I, I, I called him ahead of time. I'm like, I'm going to do a YouTube video. And I told him I was going to be right home anyways. Like, he knew before I was even going to do my YouTube video that I called him ahead of time in advance to let him fucking know. And, um, no, you know, it was like, oh, well, I'll just have to turn everything off. Like, Dude, you knew I was coming home. You knew I had a bunch of fucking food that I was going to be putting in there. And you knew that I had to clean everything out. I told you this before I left. So, your fault for not fucking eating before I got home. When I told you, I was almost home. I don't want to fucking hear it anymore, people. Sick and tired of this bullshit. So, I have a moody, grumpy man in my house. Fucking walking out the door because I know he wants a cigarette. He won't ask me for cigarettes. <laughs> He's so fucking miserable. He's making me miserable. I'm not fighting with anybody. I'm just aggravated. You don't have attitudes around me. I don't like the energy. Alright? I like nice energy. If you don't have a good attitude, stay the fuck away from me. I like people that like to smile and like to have a good sense of humor like yeah he has a good sense of humor but the problem is it's like that's the only good thing about him he's got a good sense of humor but then he's negative 99.9 percent of the time i'm like what the fuck so all right i'm sweating my balls off i'll see you in a bit thanks for letting me complain to you i'm just like so mad like i just i just worked my ass off going grocery shopping i worked my ass off but you're sitting on the fucking couch i i, I was Making sure everything was put away so you didn't have to do a damn fucking thing. And all he thinks about is food. But yes, I understand. But that you don't have to make everybody around you miserable because you didn't eat yet. Alright? I haven't eaten. Do you see me miserable? No. Am I going to eat anytime soon? No. Am I going to act like a fucking dick? No. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So I'm quickly adding to that other video um, before I cash it out. Um, but I also have a freezer right there. And then look what I just came up with. There we go. <laughs> now I can always find my potato chips. But. And then I wanted to show you these things. These are my. Um, today is a peaceful day. We're having a peaceful, well light day. Um, but these are the Heaty Friends that I'm being selling. So they're going to be, they're almost done. And then I reorganized down there, and I'm almost done. So, but um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like down below. Feel free to leave me comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys back here the next time. Have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow.